final instalment in the ICANN sessions, in which we'll be speaking with Waterford Band, O Emperor. The boys are past pupils of the college and have enjoyed a really successful year so far. They've recorded with the RTE National Symphony Orchestra and were nominated for the Choice Music Prize. We caught up with the band at the Savoy Theatre in Cork to talk to them about their chosen icon. Our chosen icon is the band. Yeah, the first time I was introduced to them was uh, a cousin of mine. He showed he showed me their second album, and uh, the first time I actually heard them, I, I wasn't very impressed. I, I don't think I was really on a. I thought it was just kind of country, and I was like, yeah, whatever. That's, Cynic, cynical mood, perhaps. Yeah, and I came back to it a couple of years later, and uh, I just bought the same album, and kind of ever since then, I've been pretty much bowled over by them in general. So. Well, in one way, the way that they can actually sort of seamlessly mix uh, a whole lot of different genres and kind of make it their own. There's kind of a lot going on in there. It's kind of hard to pin down exactly what they are because this is kind of like bluegrass, folk, mountain music, all, all this different stuff going on, but it's quite seamless how they blend it all together. And it's not, at no point does it seem like they're really wearing their influences on their sleeve. They still manage to make it their own. Uh, we're going to do Whispering Pines, it's after our second album, The Band. Well, generally, first time I heard it personally, I was just, just really, the, the whole general mood of the song really, I thought was really striking. Um, and I thought, when we were asked to do it, it was just the kind of first thing that came to mind. I thought generally the mood would just suit what we're going for and it's kind of it ties just in quite well. Something that everyone's kind of into right now, which kind of just happens every so often. That everyone just starts getting into a particular thing or talking about it, or it's just kind of something that we're particularly listening to now. So mm. I think that's that's another that's another reason. One of the lines from the song that we're doing, "Whispering Pines." Uh, which is about a kind of a soldier on his deathbed. Um, and one of the lines is, Whispering Pines, rising of the tide, if only one star shines, that's just enough to get inside. And I think, it, yeah, with the general, with the song itself, with the music, it, it works really well, just to kind of give an impression and create an atmosphere, really. Um, so, yeah, Paul's gone home to learn the lyrics as we speak, so... <laughs> See 
Soon um, the fat lady sings. It's uh, the last song on the on the album. We're gonna do a tour um, in Ireland in April, uh, and we're gonna try and kind of we're gonna do some arrangements and, and try and incorporate some of the strings and, and the the brass into the show. Um, so there's about four or five shows in April, and uh, then I think we're going to the UK in May to release a couple of singles and kind of get things going there and that's pretty much it really isn't it's it man I suppose we have to write a second album now oh yeah that one's on yeah
Say.